have life, you're breathing, you have body, you are conscious and aware, you are any. You are chosen. You are selected. You are uniquely um, designated for some very important mission. Okay? And that mission is your identity. And we will so also, that's why we keep coming back to Ori because this essence of identity, Ori is, is also what people will call destiny. But I like identity better than destiny because destiny is a little bit of a loaded word for us. Destiny, it, it suggests destination. You're going somewhere, you're traveling someplace, you're, but identity is identity. You are. That's your identity. And I, I mean, beautiful example I like is like a seed. You take uh, an apple seed, right? One proverb that one of my mentors always tells me is that when you look at the, he uses the example of the yam, but we don't really see yam from too much. When you have the yam, the leaf is inside the yam. The leaf is inside the yam. The, 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 the tree is, in, is inside the apple seed. The tree is inside the apple seed. It, that is its identity. But you have to now plant the seed, and it will root, and then stem, and then branch, and bark, and flower, and then fruit. But all of it is in the seed. All of it. So it is with you, and you, and you, and you, and, and each one of us. Everything that we're destined to be, it's already there. It's already there. The leaf is inside. The fruit is inside. The flowers are inside. The bark, everything already coded inside of us. And to understand that, then we have to start looking at time. That's the missing element. So these things are, are there, but it's a bit stagnant. 